Hi, I'm Dinesh the Spicy Gourmet. Welcome back as I have introduced to you this particular spice and herb blend set. We've already covered the Jamaican jerk recipe, which is a chicken Jamaican jerk, and also the classic curry powder. Now it's time for the Italian blend, which is a very interesting blend actually. It has all herbs, no spices, and what I like to do with this is to actually demonstrate to you something that I've experimented with, trying to keep it very simple, which is a basic tomato sauce. So the first thing I'd like to do is, here are the tomatoes, introduce you to the tomatoes, and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the skin from the tomatoes. And the way to do that is to create a kind of a, a cross-like slit at the bottom now these are organic tomatoes next I have some water boiling here and I'm going to dunk the tomatoes into the water just for a couple of minutes So, from what I've learned, you dunk this into the hot water and the hot water is going to penetrate the tomato in between the skin. It's going to loosen the skin and if you feel, and it's only for a couple of minutes, if you feel that it's not enough, you need to raise the temperature by increasing the flame and then you can either time it for a couple of minutes or you watch for the skin to split at a certain point when the temperature gets high enough. Now you can see the screen, skin rupturing. So this is the next step. I have an ice bath right here. Basically it's ice water in water, ice, rather ice cubes in water. And so I'm going to place the tomatoes and the ice water just to very quickly just take out all the heat and then I am going to remove the tomatoes with my expectation is that they would have cooled very quickly There we are. I'm going to move this aside. And now I'm going to see if my process has worked. So I'm going to take this tomato here and I'm going to remove the skin. Oh, lucky me, it's worked. So there we are. So I'm using three relatively large tomatoes. The skin pre peels off really quite readily. Because the reason we do that is, you know, with a tomato, it's difficult, if not impossible, to remove the skin any other way because of how soft it is, other than by utilizing this technique, which is really tremendous. It's amazing, actually. It's like a, well, how do you, how does that happen? Well, that's how it happens. You boil the tomatoes in hot water after you make a slit at the bottom and then you dunk it in ice water which prevents the tomato from cooking in the process which enables you to remove the skin while leaving the tomato intact. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's just totally cool. So I'm going to get rid of the skins. The next step is I'm going to chop the tomatoes. I'm going to chop it as small as I possibly can because I'm going to use it for a sauce and you really want the tomatoes to become a sauce so chopping it as small as you can will speed up the process of the tomato when we do get to the cooking stage 
breaking up more easily. Am I making sense here? <laughs> Hope so. So Andrew's behind the camera and he's going, no, no sense whatsoever. So let me do this really fast before he leaves. Here we are, we're almost there. So that is really the first step in preparing the tomatoes. And then we'll get to this right now. Okay, so the second stage of this process is I've got the tomatoes prepared, I've got onions, and this is the Italian seasoning, which is, of course, the essential part of all this. We're making a tomato sauce, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some olive oil in the pan and it's gently heating at the lowest temperature possible. And I'm going to finally slice the garlic. Now I know I have two cloves here, but it seems that one is enough because as you can see, there's a particularly gigantic, amazing garlic. You know, certain things when they become bigger, they lose the flavor, but not these, I got these from uh, Lazy Acres, if that means anything to you. They're organic. So I've got this garlic finely sliced as fine as I possibly can. Then I'm going to place it in the olive oil. I'm going to reduce the heat because it seems like it's kind of hot. Because what we're attempting to do here is to infuse the olive oil with the garlic. So low, 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 low. You might actually do better than I am doing at this point because I place the olive oil and then turn the heat on. Ideally, you want to place the garlic and then pour the olive oil over it and then put it on the lowest heat and you will not see any action, so to speak, any action um, in the pot. So, but this is gonna be fine for what I wanna share with you. I'm just basically let you know that you can do a tad better than this in terms of infusing the olive oil with the garlic. So it seems to be doing great right now. I'm not really going to touch it too much except to move, it, move the garlic around a little bit in the olive oil, like so. And now I will actually, what I wanna do is put the onions in. I think it's, I think it's a good point to do that. There's a little bit of skin here that I'll get rid of. And so we're going to be really gentle with this. And what I mean by that is gentle in terms of the amount of heat that these ingredients are exposed to. So when the onions become translucent, which means that they become less solid, I guess. I don't know if I'm describing this properly, but translucent. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> is that good enough? translucent. I am going to introduce the tomatoes, which I so enjoyed peeling. That is just the coolest thing, you know, to put in boiling water after you make an X at the bottom and then you dunk it in ice water and how the skin peels off. It's just when you do that, if you haven't experienced that before, and I'm not suggesting you haven't, it's like, wow, that I believe is close to translucent. Let's see. Ah, not quite. So let's let it be for a minute or so. But you don't want the garlic getting overly brown, which is what it seems to be doing right now. Um, I think that's good. Because, you know, after we introduce the tomatoes and the Italian blend, the Italian seasoning, uh, it needs to cook some more. So I think I'm not too concerned about putting the tomatoes in right now. So 
So I've got the tomatoes in here. I am going to stir it just a couple of turns. I'm going to increase the heat just a tad, a little bit. You don't want it to come to a boil. You just want to have it gently simmer. And now I'm going to put some of this Italian seasoning in it. Okay. You don't want to overpower it, but you don't want to I know, underpower it. So we've got that done. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Because you can always add some more salt later. And I am going to put pepper in it. Now I did add the salt because it helps combine flavors. Salt helps combine flavors. Now I'm going to stir it. So all the ingredients are mixed. And I have decided at this juncture to put a little bit more seasoning in. There. You know, if I were to say to you, I hope you're not too upset that I, you need to play this by ear or by sight or by aroma, uh, using the senses to determine which ingredients should be more or less, because that's part of the fun of cooking, right? If, if you were to just follow instructions, ingredients per exact measurements, at least from my point of view, it's not really much fun. It, you know, cooking is an art, and creating food for yourself and your family and becoming ex accomplished in whatever you delve into is an art and I believe in this instance it's the same thing you just want to enjoy the feeling of it okay so you screw it up the first time eh, you can make it again so I'm going to reduce the heat and let this cook for about 15 minutes or so on low heat And we'll see how it turn out. turns out, rather. You may want to like leave the kitchen and never do this again, or you may want to come back and really have a great time repeating what you've enjoyed the first time. So what I'd like to do at this point is to actually break up the tomato a little bit. That'll help it cook a little faster. Because you're not really doing anything that you're uh, not supposed to do. You're just helping it cook faster. So gentle simmer for about 15 minutes or so. You will know number one by how it looks, number two by how it tastes. And we're going to taste it in a little while. So we'll be right back. Well there we have it. This is a tomato sauce and as you can see it's a little chunky because it's not out of a bottle. It's homemade and that's how it's supposed to look at least from my uh, perspective. So we use the Italian blend, tomatoes, garlic, etc. And you know, this is not really a science as I mentioned to you before. So what I'm going to do is just plate it out here. There. Add every little last drop. And if you wish, if you're serving this as a dish that's added to something, you can pretty it up by adding some basil leaves. Which adds flavor and beauty at the same time, which is what's cool about herbs. Not necessarily spices, because spices when they're ground or in seed form, are not really that attractive. They're really meant to be flavorful. But with herbs, you can chop it up and you can kind of do this thing. This thing right here, <laughs> because, you know, you've heard, uh, at least in the West, you eat with your eyes first and then you taste the flavors. So there is your 
tomato sauce. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dinesh the Spicy Gourmet and this is Italian seasoning. Until the next time, see you soon.